but sometime as you can see from the pericardial lymph nodes the direct arrow which can goes directly to the intraiotocular lymph nodes so uh, uh, that's why uh, sometimes they are skip metastases and uh, there is a directly involvement of the iota cable lymph nodes and friends the involvement of iota cable lymph nodes makes it a m1 disease lipidectomy in portohepatitis gastrohepatic ligament retroduodenal that is the original lymph nodes are taken out and we always sample the iota cable lymph node before proceeding for the major surgery uh, extended hepatic or bilateral section may be necessary and that we will cover in multivisceral section the rationale the benefits the uh, and uh, the disadvantage of that so this picture is from memorial sloan catering uh, paper and uh, all the area which is uh, highlighted in pink color has to be cleared as a part of a radical extended colonoscopy welcome to our channel viewers so uh, this video tutorial is about management of locally advanced gallbladder cancer so friends as far as early gallbladder cancer is concerned there is no controversy about the management that it is straight forward extended or radical colonoscopy that is the straight forward surgery is the answer and that is curative approach but when we encounter a patient of locally advanced gallbladder cancer there are many controversies there are many issues and uh, so with this video tutorial we'll try to answer all the controversies like the role of staging laparoscopy pet scan the early neogen chemotherapy the upset, uh, the extent of resection like hpd in gallbladder cancer so that uh, we can give our viewers a scientific rationale based on the current literature evidence to the approach of locally advanced gallbladder cancer so we have divided this video in two parts uh, to keep the video length short otherwise you will get bored so in the first part we'll uh, we will cover the definition of locally advanced gallbladder cancer the anatomy lymphatics then the tnm the latest agc edition what are surgical option then the staging laparoscopy and jaundice in gallbladder cancer the second part will be multivisceral section in gallbladder cancer uh, then the uh, papillary variant then pet ct and research gap in gallbladder cancer so these four uh, first four lines uh, these are the four issues that we will cover in the first part and 5 6 7 8 will be covered in the second part and friends the second video will be available for free exclusively on our app so please don't forget to get connected with us on our app or on website so friends in the gallbladder cancer management we have already uploaded uh, three videos three lengthy videos i will say and uh, in which we have discussed the basically uh, live surgery with brief theoretical discussion and this video is only theoretical discussion so we have cover in detail about the uh, lipidectomy the staging lap uh, staging laparoscopy then the iotocable lymph node sap sampling then all the steps of hepatic bed resection they have these uh, steps are already covered if you have not watched our previous videos please uh, do watch those videos and you will get better understanding about the uh, radical or extended colonoscopy in gallbladder cancer Uh, we uh, have applied some filter on these pics. Otherwise, all these pics and uh, surgical videos goes against the community guidelines. But full HD video and uh, uh, premium quality content is available in the members only section and on our app. So please don't uh, forget to check out these links. And the gallbladder cancer is stage according to the depth of invasion of GB ball and the extent of spread to the surrounding structures and lymph nodes. so the invasion of the hyalur structure that will be cbd hepatic artery portal vein usually render the tumor locally unresectable or that will require a major surgery and there is one particularity about the gb is that there is no submucosa i don't think there is any other organ in human body which lack the submucosa that is hollow viscous organ which lack the submucosa and if there is any please do update me in the comment section the peculiarity about the gb is that it is partly intraperitoneal that is the cirrhosis is lacking on the i mean uh, one side and it is embedded the gb and uh, uh, there the five year survival it's 80 to 100% for t1 t2 after the resection but it goes down to 10 to 30% for locally advanced tumors that is t3 t4 tumors friends uh, all these figures and facts are based on the literature review and i have given the relevant reference uh, here also so viewers can check these uh, i mean references for more in depth analysis of the facts and figures
So as I said earlier, it is partially intrapatronal structure uh, and it lacks rosa toward the liver side and it is separated from the liver by the thin fibrous plate that is a cystic plate uh, and uh, uh, friends, uh, I mean when we inject a dye into the GV lymphatics, there is no proximal uh, migration. So uh, there is generally an orderly migration of the this dye that is lymphatics from the uh, GV lymphatic first lead to cystic and pericoldocal. There you can see the curved arrows from there to retroportal and posterior superior pancreatic duodenal nodes. Then the celiac and superior mesentric and interiotocaval lymph nodes. Mm. But sometime, as you can see from the pericoldocal lymph nodes, the direct arrow which can goes directly to the interiotocaval lymph nodes. So. Uh, uh, that's why uh, sometimes they are skip metastasis and uh, there is a directly involvement of the IOTO cable lymph nodes and friends the involvement of IOTO cable lymph nodes makes it a M1 disease. So uh, that is the importance and uh, uh, if uh, we will discuss it more uh, later on also and uh, please do watch our previous surgery videos if you have not watched those videos to have better understanding of the concept. So these are some of the, I mean, uh, figures that you need, may need to remember for your examination for first pass of specialty examination. So that the, when it, uh, I mean, the relative incidence of regional invasion and metastasis are diagnosis, 10% are confined to all wider, liver invasion is seen 59%, common bile duct infiltration 35%, portal vein hepatic artery invasion 15%. So different series, this is the rate and uh, I mean you have to understand that uh, it only confined to the gallbladder will be only 10% and other will have a other invasion of structure like liver, common bile duct, lymphatic or liver mets. So briefly we will discuss about the uh, AGC staging uh, that is according to the 8th edition and also we will try to demonstrate the difference between 8th and 7. So friends, uh, T1 is when tumor invades the lamina propria or muscular layer. Just remember for any other organ, especially the hollow viscous organ, uh, T2 is involvement of the muscle layer. But as I said, there is no submucosal layer in gallbladder. So T1B, which would be an early stage in other organs because there is submucosa and it is all the submucosal involvement that will be T1 or T1B. But here, as there is no submucosa, so the involvement of the muscle layer is T1B. So T1A is the lamina propria, that's the I mean basement membrane. T1B is when it involves the muscle layer of the GB. T2 is when it goes beyond the muscle layer, that is perimuscular connective tissue on peritoneal side or without involvement of the serosa or tumor invades perimuscular connective tissue on hepatic side with no extension into the lever. So, T2 is still confined to the gallbladder and then T2 is divided to A and B, T1 is A and B, T2 is A and B and just remember A is for the, I mean uh, sake of remembering A is interior and B is back, so back towards the liver side and B is also bad. So T2 is, uh, A is tumor invades perimuscular connective tissue on peritoneal side but there is no involvement of serosa, serosa is intact. And T2B is tumor invades the perimuscular connective tissue on the hepatic side with no extension to the liver. So perimuscular connective tissue that it has already breached the cystic plate, but uh, there is no involvement of liver. And uh, so uh, cerebral surface is lacking. So any tumor which is invading towards uh, the liver that is T2B has a bad prognosis. And that's the reason that simple cholecystectomy is not sufficient. Uh, for any tumor which in which we find it, the tumor later on after the cholecystectomy, uh, so uh, we need a extra surgery that will be completion extended cholecystectomy after incidental CAGB. T3 will be when it perforates the serosa towards the peritoneal side, the serosal perforation is T3 or it directly invades the liver and or one other adjacent organ. That means the involvement of liver or liver plus one extra organ, uh, extra, uh, extra organ to the liver or any extra organ except the liver will be T3. When it involves two or more extra hepatic organs, then will be T4 or involvement of the main portal main hepatic artery also make it, makes it T4. So direct tumor extension into a liver is not considered metastatic as I said. 
that uh, it is a direct involvement that will make it T3 only. Direct invasion of other adjacent organs including colon, duodenum, stomach, CBD, abdominal wall or diaphragm is not considered distant metastasis. Just remember this thing. Mm -hmm. So two or more organ organs are involved like it is infiltrating into the liver, it is infiltrating into the stomach, it is infiltrating into the duodenum or the colon. It is still T4 because that will be considered as a local invasion not a metastatic disease. So friends coming to the uh, regional lymph nodes. So the regional lymph nodes are along the CBD, hepatic artery, portal vein and cystic duct. So uh, that will be mainly uh, station uh, 12 lymph nodes and uh, station 8 lymph nodes. Uh, that is all the lymph nodes towards the uh, right of the celiac trunk. And we have already made a detailed video on the uh, lymph node station. Uh, lymph node station are common for the gastric cancer for the gallbladder cancer or the for the esophagus and uh, please you have a look in our gastric cancer series so you will have better understanding of the lymph node station so friends there is one controversy uh, in uh, AGC 8 and 7 so uh, AGC 7th uh, edition there and one was when metastasis was to the regional lymph node that is cystic duct CBD hepatic artery and botulinum and N2 was metastasis to periotic, pericable, SMA or celiac axis lymph nodes. So N2 is like a disease that is locally advanced. But in 8th edition, they have uh, given N1, N2 as a uh, number. So metastasis to 1, 2, 3 is N1 and 4 or more is like N2. So I mean this is a, a one controversy which, for which I could not find a relevant answer or a good answer. Because if you find uh, four lymph nodes and uh, that were perigoldocol only, but then again, uh, pathologically, it will be labeled as N2. But for the time being, just remember that they, based on 8th edition, it is 1, 2, 3 is N1 and N2 is uh, 4 or more. And But as per the 7th, N1 was regional and N2 was uh, extra regional lymph nodes. And if we find some uh, suitable answer, we will update our viewers in due time. Friends, uh, any tumor with N2 stage or any tumor uh, that is like any uh, for that matter, any tumor uh, with lymph node metastasis will be uh, locally advanced. So T3, T4 tumor uh, with N1 staging is locally advanced or any anti tumor uh, with lymph node in uh, four or more or extra regional lymph nodes will be considered as locally advanced. So just remember. The, this uh, this uh, combination and uh, you will be able to answer many questions in your, in your super specialty examination. So patient with lymph node metastasis that is stage 3b or higher are locally advanced tumors and stage 4a or higher rarely experience long term survival. Coming to the surgical approach in gallbladder cancer. So uh, arduo resection is only curative treatment at present time. There is no other option if patient is resectable he or she should be resected. The optimal resection consists of uh, cholecystectomy with hepatic budget resection and portal lymphectomy. Lymphectomy in porta hepatis, gastrohepatic ligament, retroduinal. That is the original lymph nodes are taken out and we always sample the eotocable lymph node before proceeding for the major surgery. Uh, extended hepatic or bilateral resection may be necessary and that we will cover in multiple resection the rationale the benefits the uh, and uh, the disadvantage of that so this picture is from memorial sloan catering uh, paper and uh, all the area which is uh, highlighted in pink color has to be cleared as a part of a radical extended colostectomy we have made a detailed video demonstration of the surgery in three parts do check those videos and you will have better in-depth knowledge of the uh, this procedure. So friends, we are concluding the first part here. The multi section, the papillary of gallbladder cancer, the role of adjunct therapy and research gap in gallbladder cancer. We will answer in the second part of this video. And uh, so thanks for watching viewers. And if you are watching this video on YouTube, then don't forget to like the content and uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for all the future updates. So thank you very much. Happy learning.